यदि तपाई पहिलो पटक यो च्यानलमा भिडियो हेरिरहनु भएको छ भने यस्तै नयाँ जानकारीमूलक भिडियोहरुको लागि यो च्यानललाई सब्स्क्राइब गर्नु होला र नोटिफिकेसनको लागि बेल आइकन पनि थिच्नु होला trigonometry let me introduce uh, what is trigonometry first okay as you see here the word if you separate these words one by one you can see three words in trigonometry one is tree next is gone and next is metric so tree means it means three gone means it is side Okay, metric means is you can say story or measure. Okay, so trigonometry is actually the, the topic or sector of optional mathematics where we study about three-sided figure or we measure three-sided figure. So three-sided figure is you know that it is a triangle. So we discuss about triangle in trigonometry, and especially we talk about right angle triangle. That means a triangle which has one angle that is 90 degree. So this is right angle triangle. So we will talk about this right angle triangle in trigonometry and how can we study this triangle. There are lots of ways to study this triangle and we will learn all of those. Today I will just uh, give you basic about right angle triangle. Okay, let's talk about right angled triangle. First. So you know right angle triangle as the name suggests there is one right angle in this triangle as you can see so this is a right angle triangle no matter what is the uh, length of side doesn't matter okay just there should be one right angle then it is right angle triangle it can be in whatever shape like this so these are right angles right angle triangles okay now uh, let's start uh, like learning about right angle triangle, some properties of right angle triangle. Okay, this may be new for you, so listen carefully. Okay, I am taking here one right angle triangle. Suppose, suppose ABC triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. Angled triangle. A, B, C. Suppose. Now, uh, as you can see, there are three uh, angles in a triangle, and in right angle triangle, one is always 90 degree. The side, the side which is opposite to this right angle is called hypotenuse. If you see here, the side opposite to this right angle is AC. So AC is called hypotenuse. Remember, hypotenuse. Okay, and since now two angles are remaining, we can take one angle as a reference angle. That is reference to us. You can take any angle, not B. You can take either A or C. So I'm taking here C as the reference angle. So if you take, if we take C as reference angle, reference angle, this means refer for us. Just uh, we are referencing it. We are just supposing it. Okay, you can choose A as well as a reference angle. So here I am supposing C as reference angle. So if you take uh, C as reference angle, then side opposite to this reference angle, the side opposite to this reference angle that is AB, is called perpendicular. It's called perpendicular. Okay, and next. The remaining side or you can say the side on which the right angle and the reference angle lies okay or the remaining angle remaining side you can say whatever the remaining side or the side which contains right angle and the reference angle is called base this is base okay so it is represented as hypotenuse s it is represented as perpendicular p it is represented as base B. So this is about the sides of right angle triangle. Remember this. This is very important. 
Okay, so this is the first thing you have to learn in trigonometry. Now, after this, we talk about a Pythagoras theorem. You will use it lots of time in your exercises. Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so before learning Pythagoras theorem, I want to say one thing over here. Always remember, hypotenuse is the longest side. Always. In right angle triangle, hypotenuse is longest side. And another thing is hypotenuse is always fixed. Like either you take the reference angle C or A, the hypotenuse is always AC. But if you change reference angle, then perpendicular and base are also changed. Like if you take A as reference angle here, if you take A reference angle, then the perpendicular will be BC because the side opposite to reference angle is perpendicular. Hence, if you take A as reference angle, then BC will be perpendicular and AB will be base. That's why perpendicular and base depends upon reference angle, but hypotenuse is always fixed as it is the side opposite to right angle. Okay, remember this. Now, Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem uh, is like a statement, it's a formula. So it is states that, states that the square of Square of longest side, longest side that is hypotenuse, hypotenuse is is equal to is equal to sum of squares, sum of squares of remaining sides, remaining sides, sides that is perpendicular and base perpendicular and base it's a very important theorem so if you take s as hypotenuse p as perpendicular and b as base then you can see according to pythagoras theorem s is square mathematically let's write down mathematically mathematically s square equals to p square plus b square this is Pythagoras theorem. The e square of the longest side, that is hypotenuse, is equals to sum of e square of remaining side, that is perpendicular and base. This is Pythagoras theorem. It's very important. Okay. Sometimes, uh, like if such questions are given, you will be given p, you will be given b, and you have to find out h. Or you will be given h, you will be given b, you have to find out p. Two sides are given, and one is made unknown. You have to find it using this formula. Okay, and this is valid for right angle triangle only. Remember this. Okay, this is the first thing we have to learn. Examples now, some questions. Okay, now you will be asked, like suppose you will be given triangle like this, and you will be given right angle triangle. Okay, and you will be given the values like uh, suppose 13 centimeter. This five centimeter. This one, what? You, you may be given A, B, C, or you may not be given. Uh, you can put your name. <coughs> okay, P, Q, R, A, B, C, M, N, O, whatever. And you will be asked to find out, like, find the missing side in this way. Now you have to find out P, B, and H, and then you can, uh, like, find out the missing side. Now, when such questions are asked in this form, you have to take reference angle your, on your own. You can choose any reference angle except B. Either you can choose A or you can choose C. We have uh, chosen C lots of times. Now, let's choose for this time, theta. Let theta be reference angle. While solving it, this is solution. Let theta be reference angle. Now, if you take theta as reference angle, Start from hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. First, find out hypotenuse. H. So hypotenuse is the side opposite to right angle. So hypotenuse will be 13 centimeter. If these names are given, you can write down the name as well. But it's not not necessary to write down name. A C. Now uh, find out perpendicular. The side opposite to reference angle theta. This is reference angle. The side opposite to this is bc bc is not on uh, not known so it will be unknown perpendicular p equals to 
what it's on and next uh, the remaining side obviously base b is given 5 cm now you have to find out perpendicular so now what you have to do over here using pythagoras theorem now you have to remember pythagoras theorem now you should remember it is h square equals to p square plus b square or you have h that is 13 p square equals to you don't have p p square plus you have you have b that is 5 square now 13 square is 169 equals to p square 5 square is 25 you can do it in calculator now if you bring this plus 25 to this side 169 minus 25 equals to p square if you subtract it you will get 144 equals to p square okay after this this square comes over here becoming square root you may know that 144 equals to p therefore p equals to if you do square root of 144 you will get 12 hence the missing side is 12 centimeter in this way you will solve the problem now let's uh, do it if you see here here r is the right angle that's why the side opposite to it is pq which is hypotenuse it is missing hypotenuse taking a right down first taking theta now whichever you want let's take q as theta taking theta as reference angle whichever you take the answer will be same right don't worry it won't change the answer reference angle hypotenuse h equals to unknown it's not known now perpendicular perpendicular p is the side opposite to reference angle that is pr pr is 4 centimeter and the remaining side is base b is 3 centimeter now using pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem theorem h square equals to p square plus b square now we have uh, p we have b to so substitute the value h square equals to p is 4 centimeter 4 square b is 3 centimeter 3 square or h square equals 4 square is 16 3 square is 9 or h equals to not h square equals to 16 plus 925 or h equals this square becomes square root over here root 25 it gives you h equals to 5 centimeter finished in this way you have to solve this kind of questions <laughs>